What's going on guys, it's Grant and I'm back with another video. Now today, as you guys can tell, I'm not at my house, I'm actually at my friend Matt's house. And today what we're gonna be doing is filming his sneaker collection video. Um, the last time I did this was over a year ago and as you guys are gonna see in a little bit, his collection has changed a ton. So today, we're gonna go through and record all of his sneakers because you guys liked the last video that we did. As always, click the link down below, follow me on Instagram, give this video a like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into his collection right now. Alright guys, so this is Matt. Say what's up. What's up guys, it's Matt. And um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, uh, my personal account is at MatthewW underscore 23, so make sure you guys go follow that. So these are my three shoes that I wear like every day. So I'm not really going to talk too much about them, but they're just like really comfortable shoes like these Vapor Maxes I got in New York City. Really cool design like the Oreo print. These Air Max 270s I got at the start of summer. And then these right here just Ultra Boost like 19, so it's nothing really special at all. It's just like shoes that are really comfortable and simple. All right, so we're gonna start off with my Jordans. So Jordan 1, Yin Yangs. I had these like as one of my first shoes in my collection, but then I sold them and bought a new pair. And then we got a pretty used pair of Cyber Monday 3s. Now to my favorite model and colorway, the Jordan 4 White Cements. Jordan 4 is my favorite model, and this was actually my first shoe to start off my collection, so pretty sentimental to me. Then we got these Raptor 4s. I got like a year and a half ago when I went to New York City, and yeah, they're pretty dope. Won them a pretty good amount. Then we got a pretty recent pickup. They're the Jordan 4 Wattas. I got them for a little under retail. So the shoes that are mixed into these are the Military 4 for the back tab, the White Cement 4 midsole, and I think it's probably like fire red or something like that and yeah so they're just really cool because I love military fours I actually used to have them right here we got the grape fives really really nice colorway I love Jordan fives I actually have only two pair or three pairs actually but look at that tongue just focusing on that I love the purple tongue and the teal interior right there um, yeah so I got these at Boston out Soul, like the most recent event for 160 then right here to complete the little set the black grape fives are here honestly might be even better than the white ones. So clean and dead stock. Yeah, these are pretty fire. I got them um, on Black Friday as well. So these are the Neymar 5 Lows. Uh, these used to be my brother's, but um, he sold them to me. They're just so sick. Like, I honestly, I kind of wear them a lot and you can't really tell. We got the Space Jam 11 Highs. This is like my second favorite model and I only have one colorway. Yeah, I only have one colorway of Jordan 11s. I should probably get more. These are so fire. They're just pretty simple. I think they released like end of 2016 right I got these for retail but like not I got them for 220 at a sneaker event so now moving on to the Adidas um, first we just got these ultra boost 1.0 it's like the white colorway these were the ones that um, Kanye wore that kind of like spiked the Adidas hype pretty sick shoe and very comfortable then we got the Adidas 2.0 ultra boost multicolors dead stock um, I got these like about a year ago these are so sick though look at that toe I kind of want to wear them, um, but at the same time, they went up so much in price I could make a lot of profit, so I don't really know what to do yet. So moving on to the Yeezys, we got the Yeezy V2 non-reflectives. These are fire, but I wore these today and like a few other days. I'm probably going to wear them uh, into Boston for going later today, but yeah, these are pretty fire. I got these a few weeks ago actually, and yeah, I've worn them like a few times already. I already said that. So next we got the Zebra V2s. This is uh, from the restock that they had like a year ago. Um, I got them the same time that Grant got his. We both won the raffle. Yeah, we cool. both won the raffle. So I got these for retail. Yeah, they're sick though. Like I wore them a few times. They're like, they're sick. <laughs> <laughs> so then next, we got probably my favorite V2 out of all these. The Red Stripe V2s I got them about three years ago. They're just really fire. Like honestly, look at these. I wore them a few times. You barely can tell and the price went up a lot. I already said that for a few shoes, but like that's what happens. Like the shoes, if you just get a shoe and you know it's hot, wait a few months, maybe a year or something, the price will go up so much and it'll make like a bunch of money. So definitely do that long term investment. Think about it. Words of the wise right there. Yes sir. Next we got the Turtle Dove V1s right here. And the shape does look pretty like weird because they're been they've been worn so much. Look at that. The bottom's like chipping and stuff, but I got these 
at a sneaker event in like, I think it was in the summer. I definitely got a good price on these because I was looking on GOAT and like the pairs that are in this condition are like 700 and stuff like that, so pretty good price. All right, now moving on to my favorite section of my collection, uh, the off-white section. So first starting off, the only off-white I have in my drop fronts are these, the off-white Vapor Maxes. Part two, the black colorway. These are really fire. Haven't worn them, but I got them in the summer. Used like probably a few times for like six ninety or something like that. So it was all right price. I got them at round two in New York City though, so um, I'll always remember that. And then after that, we're opening the glass case. So these are like my two favorite shoes. We got the off-white Jordan ones, the UNC colorway. This is my favorite shoe in my collection. Honestly, like top three sh favorite shoes of all time if not like my favorite shoe. These are so sick. I got them for 700 past his dead sock. I wore them once to uh, Boston Got Soul back in February. I got a lot of like necks looking my way. They went up so much, like they're like 1400 now new and they're worn once so I could probably sell them for like a thousand, maybe like 1100. Yeah, those are crazy bro. Yeah. Also so Ben's crazy. here. Shout out to Ben. Bam. Then right here, we have the Jordan 4 Travis Scotts. So what I like about these is, just like the UNC Off-Whites, they're like that baby blue colorway, which is like my favorite color on shoes. I love that color. And also the Travis Scott, which is like my favorite artist, if not like top three. But I just love the speckles, like there, the Cactus Jack. Right there, you're gonna get a good shot of that. I know Grant has these too. I don't really remember when I got these, but it was at another Boston Got Soul. Still dead stock because they're a size 10. That is very good. I got them for 290. If you look at dead stock prices now, what are they like? 700? 800, 750. 800, 750. Yeah, a lot. Like, a lot more than 290. And I haven't worn them, so like, that was pretty smart of me not to wear them. But at the same time, you should probably wear your shoes, not be like me. Sorry, guys. And then also, you know, I had to put the Travis Scott cereal in the back to go with the Travis Scott 4s in the glass case. And then um, that's it for shoes, actually. But I just got a very new pickup. I sold a few pairs of shoes to get this. The new navy blue Supreme Box logo hoodie. Look at that, the bandana print. But I don't really know if I'm gonna wear this. I think I just wanna wait until it goes up in price and then sell it. That'd probably be the smartest thing to do. I got a size large, so when the time comes where the price goes up, hit my DMs, maybe I'll sell it to you guys. Then, as you guys can see, Matt has a lot of Supreme accessories. He's gonna walk you through a couple of his favorite stickers, even yeah. though they're not sneakers. Yeah, cool so accessories. my favorite sticker that I have is definitely the Supreme King of New York. Uh, I don't live in New York, obviously, but this is probably my favorite city. I always love going there. I go there like a few times a year. All right, so thank you for watching my collection. If you like what you saw and you wanna follow me on Instagram, the link will be in the description. So now back to Grant. All right guys, so if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big like, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below if you guys would wanna see me go to a couple of my other friends' houses and different people around my area that have crazy collections, and I can film what they have so you guys can see them. Follow me on Instagram, the link will be down below, and follow Matt, as he said, the link will also be down below. I hope you guys had a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. And I think it's Probably like fire red or something like that for the um little lace locks. Little lace yeah. locks. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright. So so uh these are so these are my So next we got the zebra V2s. I don't know. I don't know how long, but I don't know how much I'll break them out, but um they're just really cool. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so moving on to my favorite, like um oh, damn. <laughs> what I like about these is it's obviously Travis Scott, which is probably like my favorite artist. They're definitely top three. I like these. Shoot. Oh. Good thing it's not on camera. I think it's oh, but it is. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> That's going at the end of the video. <laughs>